Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the Figure Dude, and on today's Action Figure Showcase, we have part seven of the Attitude Era. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. <laughs> Welcome back. Like I said, today we are on part seven of the Attitude Era Showcase. I think part seven, I could be mistaken. I have to take a peek once I get to uh, editing and everything. Anyway, um, we're starting out with a little bit of TNA. So we've got three customs here. Um, so let's start off with the Trish because technically it's a custom, but also it is one of the most atrocious Mattel head sculpts we have ever gotten. The Trish Stratus Elite 80. Six. I don't know, that's that sounds right in my head. I can't remember what set it was from. Um, it was the pink and black attire. It is one of the just ugliest looking customs I or figures. I I don't know what was going on. I think I I see where what they were going for with the sculpt, but something about it I, just looks terrible. They gave it a um, a, dr a dry wash, like they added texture to the hair. I think the true effects just made it come out really weird. Um, but I decided to go ahead, use it because I, I bought it. I liked the figure, just not the head sculpt. So, um, turned it into my manager, Trish, painted the boots, painted the, um, attire. And then I think I swapped the legs from some, from another figure. I can't remember which one though. Hmm. Yep, nothing's coming to mind. Anyway, there's my Trish. I don't think we're going to get, like, a managing Trish because when you go back and look at that time period, she was either part of TNA or she was crawling on the mat and the ring mat like a dog, and I don't think that WWE wants that revisited. So we have Test and Albert. And again, guys, I don't think we're going to get because for some reason they will not make flashbacks of um, Lord Tensai. But the head sculpt for him is a Mattel head. The torso is a Bray... Um, actually, the torso and crotch piece are from a Boss Man Elite figure. And then the pants were from an Undertaker. Just used some decals for those. And then the test figure. Um, the pants are inaccurate. I had a bunch of the... the uh, Is it Top Picks Undertaker with... Like, those jeans are very specific to him. But I wanted to use them, so it's a little off, but it's for test, it works fine for me. Put, a, put decals on those as well. He's got that Undertaker torso. And then the head sculpt is actually just a random 3D sculpt from eBay. It's okay. Um, I didn't have a good Attitude Era test head sculpt. I had the Jax Titantron Live one, which is just like, fine. It worked for them, but still not like some other ones that really hold up for Jax. But this head sculpt, it worked for me. Um, Hederation has a really nice one. I'll get the, I'll get around to that eventually. I order from there enough that I'll just throw that in and order sometime. But there we have it. Test and Albert moving on. Next up, we have the other two members here of X Factor. We have X Pac and Just Incredible. Um, if you're watching, then you know that Albert was the third member of X Factor. And I guess this time is a lot is when people started coining the term X Pac Heat and hated X Pac. I never hated X Pac as a kid, and when I grew up, I liked him even more after going back and really watching his matches. It, it's like he was just way ahead of his time. He was a fantastic wrestler. Um, anyway, we've got two different versions of X-Pac here, so I did the more common, like, singlet attire, that X-Factor attire, um, which is just an X-Pac figure repainted, and then the shirtless one was, I don't remember if it was, what, which pay-per-view it was from, um, but he wore the shirtless attire that had the yellow on the side, same design as that X-Factor attire, um, just no singlet top, so I thought that was a cool one to redo, um, I want to say I got the, I don't remember if 3XR had these decals or if it was curbstone. I think I printed them off. Anyway, um, I used the head from the Legends figure and then the Just Incredible, um, I don't remember which parts I used. Stone Cold Steve Austin lowers and then I put on some, like, boots instead of ring 
um, ring boots. Like I'd put on like the work boots, shield mold. And then again, I think these decals are from Curb Stomp. The heads of Jack's Titantron live, but um, we had a shot at X-Factor, X-Pac. He did not win the popular vote with fan. So I took it upon myself to make that and complete the group. Moving on. Next up, we have the ringside exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin, as well as a custom Undertaker of mine. And it is one that I, I saw someone else do. They took the Sting torso from his Elite, the red torso, put it on an Undertaker, and then um, they, I put the Big Evil decal on there, but that thing is beat to hell. So I need to get a new Big Evil decal to throw on there. Otherwise, it's a custom that I really, really like. Um, the Stone Cold is from, like I said, Ringside Exclusive from quite a while ago. I picked it up off eBay relatively recently. Um, but really, the difference is the you're paying for the vest and the red knee pads. And really, it's just another look for Stone Cold. Um, not a lot you can do with his in-ring figures. So having the red braces, having the red vest, I thought was really cool. I like that head sculpt. I think it's a great head sculpt for him. I'd like to get that updated with True Effects. Um, but really, again, simple Stone Cold. I'm glad I was able to get that for a good price. The Undertaker, like I said, a Sting Torso. And then the head sculpt is from one of his Jax figures. So the ponytail is missing from the back. Doesn't bother me a ton. Um, with the band, the bandana is really what I wanted the most. And he had short hair plenty at, at points during. So this isn't necessarily like a specific moment, but wanted to give him the big evil cut off and everything. And that's just one of today's Undertakers. Next up, a couple underrated favorites of mine are these Kane figures. I think that they nail the Kane figures. I think they look fantastic. So these here are pretty much the same thing. Um, the, it's just the Elite to Ultimate Edition jump. So the Elite figure was from the WrestleMania Heritage line a few years ago. Um, it was this Kane and then a gray Undertaker from like not his debut, but early in his career. And then um, the Ultimate Edition is what we recently got with the Attitude Era Real Scale Ring. And both of these, I think, are very well done. And you can tell that they're um, really, it's just like the progression in what Mattel's been able to do. So um, both the black base instead of the red that we normally would see with the Kane figures, same kind of look on the sides. Um, the Ultimate Edition is a little taller, which is what is pretty normal for Ultimate Editions. Those torsos tend to make them a little taller. The masks are different, so um, the mask on the Elite has that like darker red. Um, it's just like a different sculpt, so it just it, it it's different. The mouth, the hair, everything, just very different sculpts, which I think makes these um, still worth having in my like both having in my collection. Um, and then obviously the articulation is the biggest difference with the butterfly joints and um, the double jointed arms on the ultimate. The ultimate also has the sculpting for the flames in that top and you can kind of see like some paint differences in the red on the elite but it's really hard to tell so that's a sweet upgrade but two cane figures that I think are, oh, that's not everything. There's also the belt upgrade for the Ultimate Edition. So the Ultimate Edition, um, the belt and then the boots, they gave him the correct boots. So they upgraded that cane as well as they could. I think the Ultimate is awesome. I think the Elite is still pretty good, especially for what it was like at the time. Um, if you can get this Ultimate Edition cane, I absolutely suggest grabbing it, but I don't know what it's like on the secondary market, and unless you want to buy the whole ring, which maybe you don't because you want to get the new Eric Bischoff Ultimate coming out as well, but um, overall, either of these would be great choices to add to your collection. Next up, not the only Kane and Undertaker figures we're going to look at, we have the SummerSlam Elite from Ringside for Undertaker, and then the Decade of Domination, maybe, for Kane? I think that's what this one was, was from. Um, these two both were Invasion Era. We got Undertaker in his badass gimmick. This is when they first tried the um, roll-down strap singlet thing, which I think looks better for Undertaker than it does for the Mr. Perfect. I don't know, still 
I, I don't I don't love it. I would have just preferred normal torso. Um, I bought a bunch of these Undertakers, so I do have these sunglasses and hat glued onto this one so they don't fall off. Um, and then I just swap them out. I had to dremel that head down as well because it sat really high. The cane here is another one. Like, I think that they don't really miss with cane figures. The only thing is that I wish he had the molded belt piece instead of the paint, but um, that's not a complete deal breaker for me. I like this all red attire with the singlet top instead of the just like sleeveless look that we would normally get with Kane. So again, um, Kane didn't necessarily change his attire a lot, but the differences I think warrant all these different elites. Like Stone Cold didn't change his look really at all. Um, and the changes were subtle, but with Kane, you still can tell like what moment it was from, what match, whatever. So, um, two great looking figures, um, really like this Kane and Undertaker. And the, uh, this is going to be the last set today for Kane and Undertaker, but, um, just another look for these two. This is the, the Kane, this is ringside exclusive hardcore Kane, um, which is just the, red one that we just looked at this is like the counterpart the repaint with um same formula same torso top this one just has the black instead of the red we did get this or are getting this as a basic which looks okay it's got a different head sculpt but it looks kind of odd like it looks kind of cartoony um but this hardcore cane is awesome i picked that up at the same time as the ultimate edition um i can't remember someone on instagram i bought them from um it, it was a while ago. It completely slips my mind. Not good at remembering Instagram names, but um, this one with the hardcore cane, you can see still the painted belt, but they put detail in it instead of just the like a band around it. They gave him the silver studs, which is accurate. Just um, the molded belt is just way, way better. Still has the molded wrist gauntlets and everything. So a great figure. I really do think I can see us getting a re-release of that hardcore cane. I know they've talked a little bit about not doing like exclusives in the greatest hits line but i'd love a redo of the hardcore cane with upgraded details um the undertaker here is another figure i think it was in one of in like the SummerSlam elite wave i can't remember um but i upgraded mine so i think you can tell a little bit on camera the jeans was just a plain blue i didn't like that flat blue so i gave it a dark wash and then gave it a dry brush to give it a more of a like actual denim look and i think it looks awesome i think it looks way way better um and then this one also has one of those jacks heads this one does have the ponytail as you can see so just another version of american badass undertaker which this might be like his debut look when he came back I did have him pose with his like long black trench coat on, but I wanted to take it off just while we were checking it out um, so they could see the detail on the jeans because the coat's just a plain black coat. But that is everyone for Undertaker and Kane. We've got a few more to get to. Next up here, we have Edge and Christian, and these are both singles run looks for them. So the Edge is just the Legends figure. I think it's a very good looking Edge like the white attire, I think the gold, everything looks good. Um, they did kind of give him that boot detail where it looks like he's got the flaps over the front of his boots as opposed to just the kick pads, which I really like. Um, this is my favorite head sculpt for Edge. And then the Christian figure is one that I had worked on. The decals went on terribly, so I was going to redo those, just haven't picked them up yet. Um, the, the Jack's head, I also like but it's pretty beat up. So this Christian figure represents exactly what I wanted it to. When he was in the Alliance, this is the look he had where he had, um, he wore his pants, but then he had a singlet torso or singlet look. And he was so annoying. He was doing his like cry baby gimmick. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I, this Jack's figure. So the head's beat to absolute hell because I had it as a kid and it's it's been through a lot it's it's seen some stuff we've seen some stuff together but there's my edge and christian singles run um just a couple more things before we're out of here next up is the attitude era big show which i feel like he kind of gets forgotten about he had he was very prominent he was in the main event of wrestlemania 16 and then for various reasons he just 
we'll see, he, he like went back to OVW. He just had a weird start to his time in WWE. And I feel like it has kind of gotten looked over. Um, even this figure, I, I think this is an awesome, awesome elite. I think they do big show figures very well. Um, the head sculpt I think is great with the ponytail and everything. I would have liked if they gave him, um, his like hoop earring he'd wear. And then if we could have gotten this, I don't think this head's interchangeable. If we could have gotten a short hair head scan, that would have been awesome. Um, he also wore a shirt that said big nasty bastard. Obviously we're not going to get that in Mattel. Um, but I'll get that from like Threadhead or something. Um, but overall, I think this is a really nice figure and I'm glad we got it. But I had to chase it down on the secondary market. I never saw it in stores and it was hard. It is, I think this one's pretty expensive. Most Big Show figures are a little more expensive. Um, like some of his normal elites, like the modern ones, you can pick up for just above retail, but this one I'm pretty sure is harder to come by. So glad I have it in my collection. Got two customs to check out and then we'll be all done. All right, last thing for today is going to be my custom APA, and this is based on their retire from, I think it was WrestleMania 18. Um, we've got really simple customs. So the Farouk here, all I did was take the design off his tights, put on the APA on the right leg, put on the cards on the left, and then Bradshaw was a little more. So we took a mean mark figure, threw on the arms from the Bradshaw Elite, the Legends figure, and then the legs are from the Legends figure, but then the torso and crotch piece are mean Mark Callis. So um, gave him that bigger torso, which I think Mattel refuses to do. I don't know why. I think the legs are fine. I think that the head sculpts for both of these are fantastic. I think that this Bradshaw is a really, really nice sculpt for him with the shorter hair, especially compared to that other APA figure we had, like the sizing, the hair, just everything is just way, way better. I thought that they did a pretty good job with the legends, just don't like that torso for Bradshaw. So here are my customs, very simple on the decals um, on both legs, but um, I really wanted normal, just APA, Farouk and Bradshaw and had to take it upon myself to get done. But that is gonna be everything for today's showcase. We do have one more part to get through all of the Attitude Era collection. So if you've been watching all of them, thank you for sticking around. We've got one more before we move on to um, either ECW, WCW, or maybe we'll take a couple week break, look at some specific collections. I don't know. I'll think about it. We'll see if you guys have any ideas, throw them in the comment section. But if you like what we're doing here, go check out the channel, go check out the full playlist we have of showcases. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy more action figures. Figure Dude, out.